That's right. I'm dancing. All right, we're on, we're on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second ever episode of MTV Bases Newsish. This is the roundup with our lovely panel on the side hey. over here. First, we have Mantwe, the respecter of the Duke. Then we have Tinashe Venge, he who knows what broke the internet. We have Mushe Ndigi, the internet sensation, who still doesn't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got Pharaoh Five Arena, also without a phone or data or any of those things. And my name is Mojek Luhu. Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, look at oh, you! Oh, oh. Yeah, we have as you guys know, we are the spiciest show on TV. Spicier yes. than the Dutch East India route. And the Rajamal. <laughs> you know, when they went around. Rajamal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And all those things. Yeah, yeah. It's been a crazy week. It has. We do have yes. some highlights. Yes. Boiti in the mix. Oh, yes. my things are happening. Coach Deluxe. No. Yeah. Sorry. Defend till I die. Always. I think it was... Never mind. You, you, you think it was? Sabotage. Sabotage? You think? Okay. I think it was going to take you. But okay. 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 We'll All right. We also have Farida on the case. She's doing an investigative thing. She's, She's out always, there. She's Hashtag on, on the case. <laughs> I feel like you just made you there. Case. <laughs> <laughs> One of these cameras will pick me up. We also have Nina Hasty who's doing her thing. She's showing us how to get. A blessing. Yo, I need one. You need Nina, a blessing? Yeah. Well, you, 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 you kind of just need a phone, but if you need a blessing for that. <laughs> that blessing will get me my iPhone 6S in rose gold. Then that just means you just need a father. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I think it's called a parent. Also, we have a special guest on the show today, the one and only Kenny Kenny. 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 So Kenny. let's cut to a little insert on him right about now. Right. What is happening? So you cannot see it right now because I'm wearing the apron, but I'm wearing a shirt underneath this because I need to look my best. We mean business today. We have one of the hottest entrepreneurs South Africa has ever seen in studio. I'm talking about the sushi king himself, Mr. Kenny Kunin. Sammy, does it so base of sushi? Really? Okay, all right, cool. I think I'm going to order sushi as soon as I'm done with the haircuts. I've been powered by raw fish and rice. This is the handsome face you must get to. Kenny Kunene has been involved in everything from business to politics, and now he's trying his hand at the music industry. He's just signed his first artist, Skiwand, and they've dropped a single called Who Am I? But now, though, let's find out more about this guy. Is he about to become one of the hottest acts that South Africa has ever seen? He's in good hands, right? Let's find out from Mr. Kunene. I remember Hey everybody, welcome our guest for today. It is Kenny Kunene and Kiwan. Welcome to the show, guys. Yes, thank sir. you, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Sweet. Kenny, is it true that you once had 15 girlfriends? Ooh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's not even hiding. It is true. Kiwan, do you have an album coming out? Yes, I have an album coming out like probably like late this year. Kenny, are we ever going to see Hydro again? Oh, yo. Yo, that's a good <clears throat> We're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay, mm. cool. Kiwan, is it true that because Kenny's broke these days, according to reports, mm. he pays you in the old sushi he keeps in his freezer? Yo, Ooh. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> he gets paid in 30 ways, by oh. the way. There and a lot of people get paid in 30 days. Ah. Ah. So cool, since you've got um, Rivonia and Dick um, going on, um, yeah. do you know how to cook? Wow. No, 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 I don't know how to cook. Some things are reserved for women. Is that my age? grandfather and my grandmother <laughs> taught me that. I did garden, my sister cooked. Okay, when, at what age did you realize that music is yeah. for me? Uh, 10 years old. Ooh, Ooh, nice. 10 years old, nice yes. How old are you now? I'm 20. Half, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'll start the side. Okay. Um, why Simon King? I mean, first and foremost, he's my uncle. In case you don't like really. Okay. Oh, oh, my. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but like, and like, I wanted to be signed like back then when he was like still, you know, working with Hydro. Mm. But like, I had to like prove myself. 
you know, to him and that he's only signing me now. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. cool. um, Kenny, to you, you, I mean, you've tried a lot of things. Why must we believe this one is it? Because we could really just treat it like everything else you've tried. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in prison, in fact, Muhammad Ali says, a man who has no imagination has no wings. Mm. Mm. So what I imagine, I leave, you know? And um, when I was in prison, I said, I'm going to try everything, yeah. whatever. And I did. And, and this is it. me. Now I have found me. I always knew this is me, entertainment. Mm. Mm. That's nice. fantastic. Yes. Okay. Uh, you want... Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I that want to deep. ask, are you living your dream? I want to live my dream. I'm going to live my dream, hopefully so. Mm. Like in a few, you know, weeks or months. Aish. Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 he's with the dream come to make up. Dream Salah. Dream Salah. Dream Salah. Okay, Kenny, uh, I want to know, would you rather be called the king of sushi or the Burger King? King of Sushi is better. <laughs> King of Sushi, that's all I mean. Yeah, man. So it's been a busy week in the news. Yeah. Boity, Boity, they took a photo. Are you okay there? Did you like some Fanta? Kenny <laughs> <laughs> knows where I'm going with this. Okay. And apparently everyone could see her. Yeah, her Sachel. Her Sachel. Lady Beats. Yeah. Lady Beats. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you will. <laughs> there we have it. Also, MTV is releasing a new version of a show, Sugar. Yeah. There's going to be auditions. Uh, who should go? Who I'm should going. Go? Are you going? Are you going? going. Are you oh, going? Yes, because on my biography, it does say. I'm an actress, oh, so, nice. you know. Are you? About to bastardize the situation, yes. Okay. You're, you're in good hands. I'm a that's singer. A show, that's the show that launched Lupita Nyong'o. Oh, oh so yeah. You could be on your way to it. Oh, oh apps on my band to Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's also, the US have released a terror alert. They're saying what? that there are going to be terror attacks in our malls. I heard this. In South Africa. In South Africa. Are they is it coming from them? I, I think so. Because I thought we were cool, me, Barack. No, you're yeah, not. That thing is a problem. Oh. I think they if they destroy Cresta, I will not be upset. Ah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Tinashe. You've got the news regarding this whole Boiti story. Wagwan, bro, what's going on exactly? Hey, it's crazy, but I want to throw to Kenny Kunene. You actually defended Boiti on Twitter this mm. week, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so what did you make of the whole saga, everyone going crazy about it? Why did you feel the need to defend her? Look, uh, you, you, one can make fun about a lot of things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you cannot make fun insulting a woman uh, in that particular way. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I've been Photoshopped myself, Cacking in a felt, yeah. you know, <laughs> and, and it was a picture that was on Facebook, and hey, I know how it is. Yeah. And but I felt for her, you know. Yeah. Uh, I felt What's for her. It's just wrong. That's nice. It's wrong. Yeah. No, it was. It was. Yeah. That was an insult. It wasn't even a mockery or mm, a joke. Like mm, a yeah. joke. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Well, well, I for one, I was there. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, it's lost you at the start. Did you see me? <laughs> yes, I saw you. I actually took a picture of you when you were getting interviewed by this other wax channel. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I saw, guys, th that picture was fabricated. Uh, fabricated, falsified. I don't know that English term. Mm. It's called Photoshop. Oh, Whoa. My friends know my English. <laughs> <laughs> so, I saw, guys, it did not look like that in real life. Like, okay. it was, if it did, like, they just. Um, what's this thing? It was a shadow because I could see, like, from the way that she was and she was standing, I could see why people would think that. But they were uh, over exaggeration. You know, yeah. my other thing was that, sorry, it, there's no way her lady bits can be that low. Mm. It was actually like, like, like a <laughs> 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 I was like, I don't care what you've done with it, <laughs> but that <laughs> is not a good one. Right. Nice. That's the first thing I actually said to my friend, like, damn, man, I've never done anything so low. <laughs> so I've low. done all shapes and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> never. We are going to take a break. We'll see you guys right after this. Halala. Welcome back to News. This is the show that brings you news you never knew you knew. Right now, though, we want you to get involved on social media. You can find us on Twitter. Our main topic for today, this whole idea of blessings, what do you feel about it? How do you think it should go down? First of all, you should, like, look at who my uncle is, right? I, <laughs> I, <laughs> you, this guy looks I, up to you, eh? Yeah. You could easily say that you were once a blesser, Kenny. Mm, you spent a lot of money on girls. I was the big one. Yeah. The big what, one. what level blesser were you? 
Were you five for an eight time blesser? No, oh. no. I was, I was not one. at any level. I'm the founder. I'm the Chester. original. Chester. Yes. The original. Oh, gee. Okay. I am the one that <laughs> gave <laughs> people levels. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Kenny, what level would this guy who was at the Summers with the money be at? Oh, wow. Did you see the outfit? Man. That oh. fake money there. Yeah. <laughs> That's zero blesser. That's zero blesser. That's zero blesser. Okay. I haven't seen that man with anything. That mm. nigga doesn't buy champagne. <laughs> that nigga don't even know what he drives. That <laughs> drops up at events with all looking like a hobo. <laughs> Okay. That's no bless at all. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the social media accounts? Because there's one on Twitter wow. called mm. Mesa Find the SA, um, mm. where you can wow. say, hi, I'm a lady of this age, I'm doing this, and I want a man who does this, that, and that. Like, you specify everything. It's like job hunting. Like a dating yeah. agency it's online. It's actually, no, yeah, no, no. I was about to say, yeah. it's, like, ah. it's like Tinder for everyone yeah. to see. Yeah. <laughs> and not That's just it. for yeah. you to see. Yeah. All right. Well, if you are looking for a blesser, we have Nina Hasty on the case. She's come up with a guide to find your blesser. Oh, yeah. Beeps. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Nina and I'm going to give you a guide on how to find a blesser. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're looking for. Like, if he's going to bless you, he needs disposable income. you got to find the guy with a floral shirt. Sometimes they've got that like double collar that pops. It's like pop, pop. And then he's got to have a mkaba. That's a book pens for you guys who don't know what Mkaba means. Um, so then, okay, they've got to have a big one because the Rolls Royce has to rest in the shade. Wobble. Of course, they've got to have those Kick and Baboza shoes. If you can see my shoes, what are Kick and Babozas? They're those long and pointy, shiny shoes so that they can see if their shoes are matching or not. That's a real thing. Also, if he drives like a lowered suspension, like tinted window German vehicle, generally, good level blesser and then what else and then oh a side check generally they already have one that's why because when you are going to be the blessy you've got to generally kick out the old one and also you'll generally find these people mostly in Joburg because most of the blessers like have tenders they come from like Limpopo or whatever and then they have they find their blessies in in at UJ and we're gonna go look for a blesser now I'm gonna go look for a blesser so I can show you guys Rosebank I'm gonna go to Rosebank now which is in Joburg for those of you that are watching all over the show I don't know it's like the car train stops there um because the car train also stops in Sanson then there's that giant Nelson Mandela with a really little head uh like statue and then the next stop is Rosebank and that place now has Starbucks there's still white people queuing for five years just to get a cup of coffee. White guys can be blessers too. Ask Kanyumba. <laughs> Hi guys. So we're here at Blesser Central. It's the Monday after the Psalmers. All the blessers have blessed all the people and are probably still stuck in Durban. Oh, there we go. Is, excuse me, sorry, hi. Are you a blesser? You're not a blesser. Okay, that's, that's not a blesser. Okay, as you can see, that is just a man walking into the restaurant without leather shoes. So that, that should have been the first time. I should have known that's happening. Hi guys, I'm just looking for a blesser. Not blessers, okay, they're not blessers. That is a blesser, but not because like he's a blesser, just because he's a blessed cop. I don't know if anyone will get that joke. No one speaks Afrikaans anymore, so there's that. Are you a blesser? Are you a blesser? Blesser. Yeah. You don't know what a blesser is. Do you have a blesser? No. Why not? I'm looking for one. You're looking for one? What will you ask him to buy for you? A house and a car. Really? So, Atlanta, how about that? I'm gonna place it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> The one and only Nina Hasty yeah. trying to help yeah. us find blessers. <laughs> Tanasha, you've got some more info on us about male blessees. blessees. Exactly. So um, I was just on the internet, not really doing anything specific, and I, I happened to <laughs> oh, come across this so website sure. called sugarmama.co.za. Okay. Okay. I accidentally signed up. You know when websites accidentally sign you, you up? Yeah. Just <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> so I got a date with a 45 year old Nigerian lady tomorrow night. <laughs> Um, does that make me a gigolo, dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gigolo. <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> gigolo. Why? It, you it, are the prostitute version of a man. No. You are selling yourself. No, guys. <laughs> why? Gigolo. Do you guys feel like the flip, the script is flipped when guys <laughs> are looking flip, for blessings? The script of the flipping. Even in South Africa, there are older women. Some I know, they are 
on TV, you know, some are wives of so and so, they also have their own places. Yeah. Well, they are pimps also. Because now they are saying to these boys, don't work, just, just bring mm. your natural asset, pipe, mm. fine is good. <laughs> Go to the gym, get a flat stomach. <laughs> My so husband is a big one, so come. I Wait. give you money. If you think I give you money, get to a townhouse. It's all happening. Okay. It's all uh, happening. Job is tough, guys. People job is tough. Like a now. Wow. Wow. Is tough. My brother, if you say job is tough, what about prison? Yeah, man, I'm from prison. That's the toughest place to get talk about. You don't about. have a choice. You will be a gigolo. Yeah. This is a family <laughs> show. We're not going to hear those stories. Uh, do you think age is an issue when it comes to this kind of thing, when it comes to dating? Um, I cannot comment on that cause yeah. because <laughs> that's a story for another day. Right? <laughs> we will find out. You guys have issues with age? Do you care? There's a big age yes, gap. Yes, I care. I care. I care a lot because <laughs> I dated a guy who was supposedly two. I'm getting hot. <laughs> two years younger than me, right? He lied to me, and then I found out two years later that no actuality. I was the one that was the cradle snitch, and I'm not the type. <laughs> then I dated a nigga who was so old, we didn't have his shit together. So age matters. Okay. <laughs> For me, age doesn't matter. Really? Um, yeah. Age, age doesn't matter. Our great grandfathers used to de to marry women who were five, ten, twenty years younger than mm, them, the and age. those marriages lasted. So age but, for me is not a problem. think about the times that they got married in. Their challenges are not the Ye same. Yes, yeah. yes. But I'm saying my girlfriend sure. is younger than me. Okay. Uh, oh, 20 that's me. Years, 20 years younger than <laughs> that's me. me. That's me. And we get along quite well. And remember also, hey, marrying the same age. Women mm. grow faster. Sure. You are still fresh. Yes, the mama knows. <laughs> <laughs> like your sister. So age matters. And on that note, finding out about blessings and blessings, put them up, put them up. We go to Tanasha, who found out what broke the internet if you have that. Hey, you have this that. week was tragic. We lost three big people. We lost Muhammad Ali. We mm. lost Kimbo wow. Slice. We lost Keshi. Like, it's, it's been really difficult. One of the nicest things that I saw, this really, really talented local writer um, put up an article on MTV mm. Base called The Best Muhammad Ali References in Rap Music. Mm -hmm. It was a really cool tribute, oh, man, but it's, it's really been a sad week. The other big thing, the Lions in Josie, did anybody bump into them? I Terrence did. Howard? Mm. I saw Terrence oh. said to me, you're so This beautiful. is already a lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying about the lion? Bastardized my dreams. Do you have a video of this? Yeah, I've got it on my other phone. Oh. The other oh. phone. At the other, okay, I don't need it. The <laughs> Jen! <laughs> <laughs> we don't believe. Um, I, I didn't go. The event was last night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, you got an invite on Mom's part. Um, but oh, <laughs> can we die? But I couldn't make it because I was really tired. I, it was my first time getting home after Durban. Oh, okay, okay. okay. One of the nicest things I saw, Terrence Howard supported us black people, and he said white people need to give back some of the land. Like, he joined into the fight. Oh, wow, really? Is yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's one thing about American celebrities. Yeah. Muhammad Ali was an activist. Mm. Mm. Uh, Terrence. You get uh, some of the actors, Tom Cruise, mm. they always have something mm. that they, they, they get involved with. Yeah, pushing, true. For sure. Yeah. You've mm. got most of the celebrities. Yeah. Hey, they chicken out. They can't even mm. comment on any political, mm. even mm. social issues. Because no, that, but we've seen some. We've seen like AKA no, stood that, up for Christmas for. I'm, I'm not okay. saying okay. five. Okay. Sure, sure. I'm saying Majority most. It's, of them. It's a mm. few. And I think what, what the, the point Kelly is making is that yes, AKA stood up for Christmas for, but it was tweets. Yeah. There's no, it was no there's physical. No, okay, he did. He, he was there. He was there. It is defense. But guys, but I'm what I'm saying is that when you say Christmas for, you can't associate him with it. Yeah. But when you say hunger in Africa, you'll think of Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't, mm. People yeah. don't stand for something. Mm. They are. They stand for Slage. Yeah, I sleep, I sleep, I stand for many things, my brother. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah. Me, yeah. Yeah. Comrade Ken, yeah. in the building. building. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, I love that. This is Kenny, man of many talents. We're going to go to a break. We'll see you guys right after this. Stay tuned. But people don't tune TVs anymore. No, 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 no,
Ayo mazo diva no yo. Have you ever met a washing machine before? Ula <laughs> imaye. Listen ya, if you try to do this, dude. Problem. <laughs> you mess with my. <laughs> All of us in the next episode of You Got God. Oh, really? Are you really rocking? I'm really rocking. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're on. I think oh, we're on. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, oh, Hi, so everyone. Close. Welcome close. back to MTV Bases Newsish. Please follow us at MTV Base South. The hashtag is Newsish. This is the roundup. We're here with an awesome panel. Kenny Kunene over here. Kiwande on my side over here. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what? Zombies. Zombies. Yeah. Zombies. That's why you yes and I, I had no idea what was next. It's <laughs> zombies. 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 Yeah. Did you guys see that headline that Lebo Matus and Brendan Fassi were spotted in Mozambique? Oh. Oh. Alive, healthy. Oh. What? Oh. I think, you know what? Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> these like, rumors, these rumors need to stop. Uh, you, because I saw them somewhere else. Where? Really? Where did you see them? Uh, guys. In I between. am. Mm. This is, you know, I am an investigator extraordinaire. <laughs> And I sing. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw them in Santa. My, my main issue with this whole thing, saw them wherever and wherever, is this zombification thing. Yeah. Is it really a real thing? Because there's a soapy, a local soapy, where they made a guy, the lead, a zombie. And I was just like, I actually don't think this thing exists where it you does. can make someone a zombie. It's no. black magic. And, uh, for the mere fact that it had a Zulu name, like Umkovu. That's yeah, what I was like. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> it's not like in the olden days they used to. Yeah. No, but even now, um, have you seen videos of people? Yeah. They release videos on YouTube where zombies being spotted. That's that's look at that. Just, that's just makeup. That's acting. And no. all these things are coming after that movie, uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> not, yeah. uh, uh, what's his name? Which one? Uh, the one of zombies, man. I uh, zombie. World War Z? I zombie. No, the Walking Dead. Brad Pitt, man. World War Z. Brad Pitt, man. Yeah. Yes, World War Z. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Now they are doing this zombie thing, but this one, <laughs> this one of the thing here on Bum TV. Bumkov. Yeah. Bum yeah. Bum they are trying to redo. Lisilo. There we go. Uh, they are trying to do Lisilo. Except Lisilo na pere masela. And Lisilo was like, wow. That was scary. Then, when you watch it now, you're like, Lisilo was almost real, because some of us have seen zombies. <laughs> but now there's electrification, there's wires up there. Yes. Which crap doesn't work in San <laughs> In fact, guys, we had Farida, we had Farida on the case to find out about the Lebu Matosa slash Brenda story. Oh, wow. Let's see what happened. Good evening and welcome to On the Case with your girl, F. Mithileng, private investigator, where I answer all the questions you have had for many times, many years, because I have all the answers. <laughs> private investigator, F. Mithileng, on the case, hello. Hi, babe. I'd like to find out about what happened to Lebu Matosa. Lebu Mat... Oh, Boom Shaka. Boom Shaka. Oh, don't worry about that, ma'am. I, F. Mithileng, am on the case. Firstly, as we know, Lebu Matosa, she's not dead. As we thought previously. And she has said to have been in Mozambique with Mapr. That it's also a lie. Because I, F. Mithileng, found them right here in Johannes Pekau Deng, Santon. As for Tembi Siete, well, we all know what she's been up to. She was arrested last year, but has managed to do some couple of shows, you know, a concert here and there in commemoration of Pumshaka. Here I am with her, I bailed her out. Then of course, there was Theo Ntlengetwa, who was once spotted with a woman, and then we saw... What are you doing in this office? all the time in this place. Can't get any piece of money. Sorry. As mentioned previously, we have spotted Theo Ntlengetwa, who was once rumored to be a woman. But don't worry, I saw him as well in Santin. Yes, he is a he. There was our dear Rastafarian brother, Junior. And he was last seen evicted out of his flat in Beria. But that is not true because where was he? Santin. I managed to convince some... Ki Kim! K 
Team Buddy! Uh, and that's it for another day. That's it for another day on On the Case with F. Mitileni. If you have any, if you have, if you have any more questions, you, you can. If you have any more questions, you can email. Please call me. Also, uh, I'm standing in the middle of a hallway. That's very busy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hashtag On the Case in your email. Just come to my house. Because I'm very busy. Thank you. That was Farida on the case. Of course, it is the 10 year anniversary of the, the passing of Leo Matos. Yeah. She was an incredible yeah. artist, yeah? That's amazing, insane. amazing. Uh, music, talking about music, Kenny, you got a new label. What's the vibe with that? Tell us a little bit more about your new label. New Money Entertainment, uh -huh. NMG, New Money Gang. Okay. Um, yeah. Three artists at the moment, mm. hip hop. Nice. Uh, Kiwant is the first one. Sure. Thank you. Congrats. So, yeah, he's dropped a nice. single. Sure. Who am I? He talks about himself. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and uh, we shot a video already. We shoot. We, we, we shot a video for Money Dance, the second release. Mm. Benda is the third one that will be coming with Big Star Johnson. Sure. Nice. So yeah, we've got we've got a few songs. So okay. we're, we're working in the studio. Well, what can we expect from your album? Um, you can expect like some diverse sound. Okay. Diverse Back urban. Come. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Back hip hop, maybe. What is Mbak? What's came out? He brought it up. Oh, we were just no, about um, Okay, it's, yeah. It's, it's more of uh, urban mm. representation mm. fused with um, some African percussions, uh, percussions mm. yeah. nice. with um, trap, drum trap yeah. beats. Yeah. Yeah. So our, our producer, uh, Bickless, uh, yes. Zul, Zushi, those are the guys that put together, but he also produces with them. He writes mm -hmm. his own music, his own True. lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. we are all involved. We are a team. But so yeah, no, no ghost writers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. That was another episode of MTV Bases Newsish. Please follow us on Instagram. Tweet us. The hashtag is Newsish. Thank you yes, to sir. our guests so much. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we are going to be blessed by a performance <laughs> by the one and only Kiwano. No D, that sh got to make contemplate and to quit. That's when I told myself, this rap thing is just a hobby. Hold up, did I just listen to what nobody know as a lobby? I mean, everybody know I can body anybody. This is who I am. I'm living my life for nobody. Who am I? Who am I? Key one. Who am I? Now these homies wanna hang with me. Who am I? Who am I? Key one. Who am I? Now these ladies wanna mess with me. Who